This is Tehachapi Loop. There's a tunnel right here. It's single track and it, right around here it's double track. But look how small the loop is. Right now there's a train there. They just had a derailment a couple days ago. Uh, the railroads are now doing precision scheduled railroading, which means they're running longer trains. <clears throat> I have a HO scale model layout. And to me, this is flawed. Here's another train coming up right alongside. <clears throat> if they had gone out further, all the way out to here, and there's a freeway right there. I don't know the number of the freeway, but they have all this room right here. They could have gone, made that loop bigger. And the loop is there to gain elevation because they couldn't go straight across because it's too steep. So they're trying to gain elevation by adding the amount of track, but it's so small. <clears throat> Even on my layout, I would never attempt to do this. Again, if they had gone out further and around and up, it would have been easier on their locomotives. I don't know why this is world famous. To me, it looks flawed. And for the fact that they don't have double track all the way, they have to stop trains. Normally, they don't stop on the hill, but they stop trains and they have to let trains to because of single track areas. If it were double tracked all the way across there, they wouldn't have the issues of stopping trains and having to restart them because it consumes a lot of fuel. It's hard for trains to get restarted with the amount of weight that they're pulling. I would never model to hatch a pee. I, I just I just think it's flawed. Okay, thank you.